Hi everybody, I'm Sophia Rowe, and today we're gonna to be cooking with fungi, inspired by my friend, Stella McCartney, and her beautiful summer 2022 collection. So what we're doing today is we're gonna make some creamy polenta, some delicious braised mushrooms, and a delicious cilantro chutney. If you're not a cilantro fan, it's fine. Like, you can't come to my cookout, but like, you can make this with basil, okay? So our first step is basically we're gonna take our polenta, you can see here, AKA our corn grits, and we have mixed them with five to one. Okay, so a five to one ratio is one cup of polenta to five cups of liquid. Some people say four cups, I say five. You know what I'm saying? I say five. And look how beautiful and creamy she is, and she's not even finished. We've got a chili pepper in there, tons of thyme, because that's how I do it. And this is just the base. We're, we're, we're just getting started. I mean, look how gorgeous she is. And the mushrooms are really the showstopper as it was apartment miso, fungi, my favorite thing in the world to talk about. It's so beautiful. It's got such structure to it and materiality, I love it. Like this, you can see that inside, it sews nice and spongy. I love her. So these little single ones, we're actually not gonna chop these up. I know they usually, People are used to seeing like mushrooms really chopped up. We're actually not gonna chop anything up. We really want these to be left in their just beautiful shape. Here, we have beautiful lobster mushrooms that I have soaked in cold filtered water overnight. And we are basically gonna use it as a broth. So I'm gonna pour it in. You should go about cooking your vegetables and your fungi in, in a similar manner as to a cooked meat. All right, so a lot of braising happens with meat. And you can cook fungi the identical way. So today that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna really show you how to create a very meat-like texture, a very meat-like dish using 100% fungi. So you know, in case you didn't know that bread, yeast, that whole relationship wouldn't be possible without fungi. So if you like bread, you can thank fungi. If you like alcohol, you can thank fungi. If you like basically anything, you can thank fungi. Because 95% of the plants in the planet yeah, 95% of the plants on the planet rely on fungi, in case you didn't know. That's a fact. I didn't make that up. And then a little of that. A lot of lime squeezes to do. The mushrooms are done. They are stunning. They are glossy and rich and saucy and just everything good, everything that works with polenta. So, I mean, like even the texture looks like meat. It's so beautiful, I love it, I love it. So we're gonna plate. We've got our beautiful polenta. See, nice and creamy. And we're not gonna make this really perfect. We really just wanna keep it kind of rustic. That's kind of the style. I love it. I was gonna do peas, but I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. Just for some color. Beautiful fennel oil that I made. This is our beautiful creamy polenta with braised mushrooms and cilantro chutney, which honestly is perfect no matter the time of day. Love you.